Morning magpies. You hungry? Come on, here's some food for you. You gonna sing for me? I can hear your friends over in the back corner there singing. What about you? Anyone gonna sing for me? No? You scared of the camera? Come on. Oh, well, that deserves something, doesn't it? Nice little song. <laughs> You're a good catcher. How about your friend? Well, you want something, do you? Hang on, let me throw something for you. You going to catch it? Oh, magpie got it. What about you? You haven't had anything. G'day guys, welcome back. Look, it's like I'm doing craft day today with all these. I'm actually going to do a resin video today and I'm using my new mold that I made it's the lotus flower and when I started making this I thought yeah it won't take much silicone but look at the size of it it's massive so there's nine there I'm just trying to get it back into shape now into the square um, so this is what it makes these gorgeous faceted flowers and uh, I thought because I've been doing a lot of cellophane lately my um, vinyl sheets arrived holographic vinyl sheets this is the one I'm using um, I got it on Amazon CASA I think it says CASA holographic vinyl sheets premium no permanent adhesive <laughs> I'm reading upside down move that away so it's a 10 pack I've got all these different colors. I'll just do this and hopefully you can pick up different shades in them. Oh, it's got a bit of a blue to it. Greeny, yellowy. Bluey, purple. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how how good they'll be in comparison to what the cellophane was, but um, I'm gonna have a go at them. So what I've done is, and I see they've got the lines on the back, so you can cut out. I just did like seven by seven squares, um, and that's kind of big enough for that. So. What I did was, I'll just do one because I've done the others already. There's a 10 sheets, there's nine of these, so one just has to not come to the party. <laughs> Sacrifice itself for everybody else. So push down really hard. I'm just using a normal black ballpoint pen. Go around, push into the little corners as much as you can with your pen. Like, don't just go straight down, go on a bit of an angle try and really get in there it's a bit tricky but I thought it would look really really pretty because it's faceted so we should get lots of different shapes because you know when I did my little fishies and it's got those like shapes facets on the outside that would look really nice um, so that was just with cellophane but that was really pretty all right so now when you cut out there's no point cutting on the line because you want it to be smaller. You need it to be smaller than that because I'm not actually going to fill these all the way. I'm going to do like almost to the top, put this down and then put a backing on like another layer of resin. So this needs to be smaller. These are 
pretty much straight up and down like they're not on an angle so you don't have to worry about that because this side here in there in there is straight down but when you cut make sure that you're cutting well on the inside of that line okay just do one real quick I tried putting two together and cutting two at once it wasn't that successful it moved around a little bit but you might be able to do it so yeah I'm just going inside the line if it ends up being a little bit smaller that's okay you're not going to notice and go oh gosh she hasn't gone to the corners with her holographic vinyl I'd rather it be a little bit smaller than a, you know too big and then it doesn't fit so just roughly I mean I'm trying to go you know close to the lines as possible but roughly and you can see there that's the distance you can see my black line I've gone like a couple of millimeters on the inside of the line and hopefully it'll fit um, it is going to go that way though All right, so that's them done. I've got them all. And um, yeah, I just, there's all my other little cutouts that I did. I went and sat with the dogs and with my scissors and, and cut them all out. So that's that done. I've got a spare. I wasn't sure which of the greenish hues to do. But I think I'll go with this one, the one I just cut. So you can sit over there with the koi fish. And we'll use you another day. All right, so that's them done. I need to put them all back into their little folder now to keep them safe. And, um, yeah, I'm going to mix up my resin. I'm going to mix up the 360 plus resin because this is quite deep. Um, as I was saying I, when I was making this, um, I poured the silicone into my master mold and I did, I think, 600 milliliters and it only came up like, halfway so I thought oh gosh it's going to take more so then I did another 400 and it wasn't it was kind of up the top but then you need a, a good layer over the top so it ended up being 1.2 kilos so like six pounds like it is it is massive look at that look at the size of it so I don't know <laughs> I was planning on selling it but I don't know whether or not it's going to be a good option because it's expensive to make when I do my molds when I price them I price them per weight like if it's got a, a 500 grams of silicone it's this much if it's 800 grams of silicone it's this much this is 1.2 so it's it would be expensive but so i don't know if i'll list it if you particularly want one you can message me but I, maybe i'll make one that's like got four like that <laughs> so i think that would be cheaper cheaper for you guys all right i'll mix up my resin i'll be right back right oh made up my resin now do you remember this star that I made see how it's got all those facets this was cellophane with the black background but I think it's because it's got all those different angles on it it just catches the light in lots of different ways so it's really pretty so I'm hoping I'll get that with these uh, lotus flowers today um, right let's get started wasn't sure exactly how much resin to mix up but I've done one cup um, I did 175 grams of A and 70, 75 grams of B now I don't need these yet because I'm going to wait till the resin's kind of tacky um, and then I'll I'll stick those on I'm just going to move everything out of the way because I want to spray them with alcohol there's my resin now it sets up pretty quick so especially in a big deep cup like that so with this resin you need to get a wriggle on so in these molds because they're quite deep it's going to cure really quite fast so I'll have to keep an eye on it so let's just we'll start up here alcohol try and sort of go that way and that way and that way and then pour straight away so basically I don't want to fill them all the way so I'm just, um, where's one? I'm just sort of going to take it to just below this, this end bit here, this end bit, just below that. So I'm going to do them all. 
and then um, have a look at them and see if I need to put any more in because like I said I need to leave enough room for my backing and I think I'll just do um, I mean you could do black it's not really going to matter because because I'm using the vinyls um, you're not going to see through them I think that one's got a bit much <laughs> you're not going to see through them like you do with the cellophane so it won't matter whatever color you like um, I'm thinking either black or white would look nice um, you know if you're going to use them as a keychain or I don't know they might be a bit chunky and heavy for a necklace pendant but if you're going to use them as a cheek a chi, a, a keychain um, I think they'll be perfect for that all right just bear with me I'll go through all of them I don't want to spray all of them and then by the time you've got around to finishing them all the alcohol's all evaporated so that's why I'm just taking my time and doing one at a time this one I think is a bit full I might have to take a bit out of there so the alcohol will help with the bubble release because you don't want bubbles in your gorgeous crystal pieces your lotus flower pieces do you all right so that's done still got some left so I didn't need 250 probably 200 grams would have been enough now um, just to give it a quick little blast actually I shouldn't probably do that because if there's any alcohol in it it'll flame up oh, spritz don't torch spritz all right now I'm just going to have a little look across the top and see which one needs a little bit more and I'll take the camera down and I'll show you how I work out how much I need so if you look across the surface like this I've got a window there and you can have a look and it you can actually see how much is in each one so that top right one needs a bit more bottom left uh, sorry top left needs a bit more so I just do this and and basically look they look very very similar it's just that top right one needs a little bit more um, yeah so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to wait until these are tacky kind of sticky um, and then these have got these have got a backing on them you peel the backing off and then you put the sticky the, the holographic side down sticky side up which is a bit challenging because when you go to push it it wants to stick to you but if you wait until this is still tacky um, we'll be able to do it so all right I will be back might only take half an hour don't know we'll see I'll see you soon hope I don't miss it I'll be checking it every 10 minutes hey guys I'm back it's been um, well, it's been a couple of hours now because these are deeper in the middle the middle area is setting up faster than the outside areas which are poured much thinner or shallow so the center here is kind of you can touch it but the outside is still kind of sticky it leaves a, a little tail so I'm gonna get going I've taken off the plastic the backing of those except this one because I thought I'll wait because I thought oh if my resin setting off and then I'm struggling to pull all the backs off um, I'll be stressing but I did them earlier now I just have to do one they're, they're not too bad to get off better than that cellophane was so you can see there that's the um, that's the sticky side and then that's your shiny side so you're gonna do shiny side down there's all my backings they make good little templates too all right let's figure out how we're going to do these now I'm only going to get one chance to do this so when when you cut them um, I think they're a little bit each one's a little tiny bit different so what I need to do is just work out exactly which way I did it 
Did you know you're cutting each one a little bit? Oh, you're cutting each one a little bit differently. Oh, look, it won't matter. We'll just push it down. Yay, yeah, I did it. I was concerned that it wasn't going to work. All right, I think what I'll do is I'm going to get my little silicone stick thingy. I've got this one that's got a flat side there. Hopefully it won't stick too much. There's something sticky on the floor. I just stood on it. hope it's not resin. Whoa, that's a bit sticky. So basically, I'm just going to push that down. And you can use your fingers, but obviously it's sticky, so you don't want it sticking to your fingers. So because it's it was nice and, and tacky, I'm hoping that there won't be any bubbles under there. So just push that down. Get those into, you know, into the little corners there. Uh, we are going to top coat this as well. So if there's a little bit that doesn't fit exactly and it's kind of creeping up the side, I don't think it's going to matter. All right, so this has got a pink backing and we've got this pinky, purpley kind of a colour. So let's do that one. I don't know that you'll see the bubbles through this so I'm not sure like I can see there we are there's a little bit of a I can see through that one there so I can see there's a little bubble there what if I put it in the middle first and then kind of push it out whether that would work I could have cut them a little bit deeper these points here I probably should have cut them a little bit deeper in that little point there next time or if you guys are doing it you can remember to cut the little point a little bit deeper when you're doing it all right so that's that one done now this one's got yellow on the back and it's got the yellow on the just looks yellow but hopefully there's something else going on in there don't stick your fingers in the resin <laughs> make sure that you're not I think what I'll do is try and touch the middle first and push that down and then I can kind of push like that towards the outside. See if that works for getting the, the bubbles out. But yeah, I don't think there's a lot you can do about getting a bubble underneath that. I think it's going to be not much you can do about it. But hopefully you won't be able to see the bubble. All right, now I'm just going to do the rest. You don't have to watch me do everything. Oh, see those? Um, my angel, my angel mold arrived the other day, and I hadn't used it. And you know how I had that leftover resin? Um, I thought, what can I do with my leftover resin? So I grabbed the mold, and I just dusted. I dusted this one with this one here into Fear It. It's a purple blue turquoise. And then that one there, I used uh, Interfere That. It's a pink gold green. So, yeah. I don't know if I just want to leave it clear or whether I put a. I didn't fill the mold totally, totally up, but they're almost full. So if I do put anything on there, it's not going to be very much. But yeah, that's what I did with that. All right, I'm going to finish these. Mix up my background. I think I'm going to go with like a shimmery dark blue rather than black. So yeah, I'll do that and um, I will be right back. Right. I made up another 150 grams. If I was just doing the top coat here, I wouldn't need that much, but I'm going to see if I can top coat a bit over there as well. I'm using this. It's a really dark blue. I wonder if it's going to be shiny, though. I was hoping to get something with some shimmer shimmer to it. Um, what else have I got? I think that'll do. I've got the this little piggy as well in the dark blue. They're very, very similar. I'm 
ones seems to be a little bit darker I don't know I don't know whether all pigments come from the same place or not <laughs> or whether they're all different I don't know all right let me get my glove back on to take it off to um, press the record button again because I had you on pause all right now I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do this because my stick is stick is stuck in the resin so yeah um it doesn't really matter what color you put on top because these are opaque stickers you're not going to see through them so it's just whatever color you like really okay that's looking really pretty <laughs> it has got a sheen to it i have to buy some more of that i do like this blue look at that all righty let me put the lid back on so yeah i don't know how it's going to look on the angels because normally when i use that um, chameleon powder i always have a black background but um, as long as it's sort of an opaque it should be fine but i'm going to do these lotus flowers first and then if i've got anything left over I'll pop it on the angels should have got plenty all right here we go Make sure that every little bit's pushed down. A couple of them started to curl up, the little points. I have to push back down on them. I actually forgot that it was sticky and I put my finger on with the glove and of course it got stuck. Oh dear. But yeah, just make sure they're all, all little points are pushed down. But because I didn't go deep enough into that little area there, they're kind of lifting a little bit. So yeah, just remember to cut deep, a bit more deep into those little corners. All right. Let's just do this. Pour some on. I'll just put a bit on each and then um, we'll see if it'll if it'll flow to the edges on its own. Otherwise I'll have to get my little stick out and give it a helping hand, but hopefully it will. Same resin, I'm using the 360 plus so these are the backs the sticky backs that we can see here not the holographic shimmer shimmer hopefully we'll get a really pretty outcome when we turn these out and I'm not going to know what colors which because <laughs> uh, I don't know <laughs> they're all just mixed up random colors I don't know what I'm going to get it's like a box of chocolates. You just don't know what you're going to get. As all Forrest Gump says. All right, I'm taking a little bit more than I expected. But I don't need much for the angels. There's hardly any room at all left for those. All right, here we go. Put a little bit there. I'm gonna have to just spread it with my stick or my skewer or something, toothpick. I didn't, I probably could have put less in, but the reason I kind of filled it, let me just throw that out, is um, this this area here like this horn or whatever she's blowing it's not it's not as deep as the wings so if i didn't fill it up there was no resin in those i actually use this little guy here i'm just going to make sure these are all done first and then i'll move to the angels still got a little bit of resin left that i can oh yep you're done that i can use for the angels but i'm just going to let it flow as much as it wants to Hello right, guys I'm back it's the same day uh, it's just after 11 p.m. and I should really be getting ready for bed but 
I'm super, super keen to see what these are going to look like. So I'm going to quickly unmold them. And then I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> you know when you just can't, you can't sleep until you know what these are going to look like? Oh, there's a little piece still sticking up. Never mind. All right, let's start. Maybe I should start with the angels. I'm hoping they'll come out. They look as if they're going to come out really easily. Oh, look at that. I just pushed my finger in from the bottom like that and pop, out it came. Pop, pop. <laughs> All right. Oh, I'm a bit nervous. All right, are we ready? Normally I get you down here next to me um, to, for the unmolding, but I thought with the um, ring light on it might be a bit better. All right, now do I turn towards me? Or do I turn towards you? Oh gosh, oh, I don't know. All right, here we go. Oh, wow. My gosh, look at that. Oh, wow. That's even better than I expected. Not quite sure about the blue on the back. <laughs> Maybe it would look better just clear. I don't know, you, you tell me. Oh, wow. All right, hang on. I think I need to get you down here next to me, rather. I think I do. Then I can see what you're seeing. Do you see what I see? That's better, isn't it? I did have to turn the ring light off. You can sort of see the shape of it there <laughs> above, but um, oh, look at that. Wow, oh, look at that. Oh, my gosh. This pink. Oh, look at the blue in there. Oh, this was gonna. I was. This was gonna be a quick video, but I think it's gonna take me a little bit longer now. See, that's where I was telling you about the dark blue. I'm just not sure because you know, like I said earlier, um, the the vinyl you're not gonna see through it anyway, so it doesn't matter what color you put on there. And I'm just not sure about that. But anyway, let's let's do them all. I love that one so far. It's a pity I don't know which one it is. So you've got all these little all the little offcuts. I just don't know which one it is. Um, if I do them again, I'll make a, a note about which one's which. Hey, but um, I don't know. It's, I guess it's I guess it's one maybe one of the pinky ones. Maybe this one. Mm, maybe. Anyway, right. Let's get on with it. Stop me yabbering. I know a lot of people say you talk too much. Oh, I'm just trying. I'm just enjoying my hobby. Just a hobby for me. All right, here we go. Next one, and it's nice and set on top. All right. Oh, that one's really quite pale, isn't it? It's very delicate looking. I wonder which one that was. There was one. Oh gosh, no, it doesn't matter. See this? You can see where. Um, the vinyl has kind of curled a little bit. It's curled up and then I've tried poking it down with a toothpick and then the blues come up. So probably would have been better off waiting just a little bit longer until the sides were a little bit more set. They might have the vinyl might have stuck down a little bit better. So yeah, don't don't like that one quite as much. I haven't got as much as much color in that one. Ooh, this is so exciting. It's like unwrapping Christmas presents. Oh, this one's got a blue hue. Blue hue. I can already see that. Oh, I'm excited about this one. Oh, look at that. That's like a jewel, isn't it? Oh, it's not showing as much green through the screen. I'm a poet and I don't know it. When I look down here past the screen, I can see it's a lot more green. But it, it, they did what I was hoping with all those little facets. And, but it's, it's really sparkling. That's my favourite so far. All right, next one. Ouch, come. So glad they just pop out easily. This one I can see it's got a pinky hue to it. Look at that one. It's similar to this one. This one's throwing a little bit more gold my favorite so far oh gosh I wish I knew what it was now same with this one see see the the tips are gone a bit blue um, because the vinyl was poking 
up and I've pushed it back down with the toothpick so it's kind of let the blue escape a little bit more. All right. Next. All right, here we go. Oh, oh, that's a good one. Look at that one. Wow. See, look at this one, and it's just got like, you know, blue and a bit of green. Whereas you look at this, and there's just a multitude of colors in that one. So it really makes a difference as to which vinyl you use. Oh, that's my new favorite. Okay, they can sit there, my two favorites. All right, let's see what the rest of these look like. I will try and work out what vinyl that was, actually. I don't know if it's... It might have been one of that one, because that one's showing pink and then gold. Mm. Doesn't matter. All right, this one, I can see it's throwing a little bit of pink there. Hey. Okay, so that one's not as multicolorful. It's more like that blue and green one. It just shows two colors. So I'll have to work out which. Oh, it's showing like a bit of green there. I guess it's reflecting also maybe what I'm wearing. I'm just wearing navy scrubs, my painting scrubs. Let's get that one out. This one looks more like the white one, like that one up there. Yep, white. It's it's more sparkly though than this white. Oh, this one's showing more of a like a goldish tinge, and this one's got more of a bluish tinge. Same thing here. You can see how the the blues kind of escaped. But look, it's not bad for a first attempt. I'll just have to make sure that I let my resin set up a little bit more and cut into this is where I was saying I don't know if I can show you on here I cut into these bits here a bit further much further than what you would expect that way it um, the points go right into these points all right oh, oh look at that one Look at that! Oh, it's kind of red there. And then it's got blue and purple and green. That one's really pretty too. Look at that! Put it over here with my pile that I like. My good pile. And then my not so good pile. Yeah, next time I'll try and work out which is which with the colours. Right, last one. Lucky last. Oh, and we've got a yellow one. A gold one. It's picking up a little bit of blue and green. But again, not that much colour change in those ones. Put these back up here so that you can see them actually I'm going to put my put my three favorites along the front here and then I better get a wriggle on and unmold these angels put them like that maybe on a bit of an angle I don't know if they'll stay you can see the Reflection there. Aren't they pretty? So these three are my favourites. They're really colour changing. All right, let's get to the angels. Now, there will be some overflow on these. They're not very deep at all. I'm be careful of this little horn here. I don't want to break it. I think it's a horn that she's blowing. Now, I've only ever used this chameleon pigments with the black background, I think. So 
We'll just have to see, oops, not the tripod, how these go with the blue. Oh, she's pretty. So we're just getting like a blue-green change there. There's a little bit of, look at that, a little bit of trimming there to do. It's such a tiny little piece, this, and it's not very deep. So it's difficult to pour resin into. There you go. Well, she's sparkly anyway. I could have just left her clear, actually, and seen what that would look like. I guess you get much better result with the black background the more opaque because that one hasn't really done a lot but look just saves wasting resin doesn't it better than throwing it out now this one I can see there's a, like a little bit of a pink hue on my mold there walk around the back here I can pick it up again otherwise my hands in the way oh Okay, so that one's got more of a sparkle. Look at the glitter on that one. That one's really shining more. Still hasn't got a lot of colour change. You can see my hand through there. So, yeah, the opaque colours do work better, but they look pretty together, don't they? You can see this little bit of blue through here. Really pretty. I want to do these again with some um, gold flake along the edges there and then just like a, a clear. So they're really pretty. This one's my favourite. <laughs> All right, leave them there. Okay, I better go to bed. It's late. So here are my three favourites. Let me know what you think of these. This one's really rainbow. I've got to find out what that one is. It's probably my favourite out of all of them. I don't know what it is. I don't know. I can't tell. All right. Uh, next time I do this, maybe I'll put a little sample, cut a little sample and like stick it on the corner there just so I know which is which, who's who in the zoo, so we know. All right. Thanks so much for watching. hope you enjoyed that video. And um, I'll see you again real soon. These two look very similar, don't they? They are different, but they look very similar. All right. And these two look very similar. <laughs> All right. I better go. <laughs> oh, verbal diarrhea again. Look, now it's almost 11.30. I have got to go to bed. All right. See you tomorrow <laughs> for the next video. Bye for now.